But if we give Donald Trump eight years in the White House, he will forever and fundamentally alter the character of this nation. With pointed words against President Trump, Joe Biden officially kicks off his candidacy for president. This video was just in, and you can see Biden arriving at the Amtrak station in Wilmington ahead of a major fundraiser in Philadelphia tonight. Good afternoon to you. I'm Janelle Burrell. And I'm Jim Donovan. The former vice president made it official this morning with the release of a campaign video. Our cameras caught up with him a short time ago in Wilmington. Our Cleve Bryan is there. He joins us live with what Biden had to say. Cleve, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, on a big day for the former vice president, announcing his third bid for president, Joe Biden did what he normally does. He hopped off a train here at the Joseph Biden Railroad Station in Wilmington, Delaware. He appeared to be moving quite uh, spryly through the station as we caught up with him earlier this morning. Now, Biden was friendly as he walked through the crowd, but didn't appear to be willing to stop and talk for very long. The 76-year-old has been mulling another presidential bid for months and has been on or near the top of most Democratic primary polls. Now, he enters a crowded field of a dozen and a half Democratic candidates looking to keep President Trump from a second term in the White House. And his video announcement this morning, he called out the president and said, we are in a battle for the soul of this nation. Eyewitness News on the scene this morning as Biden gave some quick answers to the media outlets to see him off at the train station. You and your message very clearly have made this about a debate about President Trump, but you're going to have to get through the Democratic primary first. Why are you the best choice for Democrats? That will be for the Democrats to decide. And why didn't President Obama endorse you? I asked President Obama not to endorse, and he doesn't want to. This, we should, whoever wins this nomination should win it on their own merits. Guys, so thanks. Welcome to Delaware. Now, we should note that President Obama has said that he will not endorse any candidate this early in the primary process, even though Joe Biden did serve eight years as his vice president. Uh, later today, you mentioned that uh, uh, Vice President Biden will have a fundraiser 530 this afternoon with David Cohen. He is the um, vice president of Comcast. That fundraiser will be in Philadelphia. We're live in Wilmington. Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Cleve. Well, President Trump responded to Biden entering the race with this tweet. It reads, welcome to the race, Sleepy Joe. I only hope you have the intelligence long in doubt to wage a successful primary campaign. It will be nasty. You will be dealing with people who truly have some very sick and demented ideas. But if you make it, I will see you at the starting gate. As we mentioned, Biden will attend a fundraiser here in Philadelphia tonight. We'll continue to follow this story throughout the day and evening when we're not on television. You can get the latest on Joe Biden's bid for the presidency anytime at CBSPhilly.com.